In this video, I'll show you how to set up Selenium 2 WebDriver and then set up a quick Java example to test to make sure it works. In essence, WebDriver controls the behavior of a web browser in order for the end user to automate the testing of code. Alright, assuming you already have Eclipse installed, start by downloading the Selenium 2 WebDriver in the language you develop your framework. So I'm going to download it in Java. And so while that's downloading, I'm going to go ahead and add a new Java project in Eclipse. So file, new, Java project. I'm just going to call it Selenium. Okay, so that's done downloading now, which downloaded to my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it to that newly created directory. I'm going to unpack the zip file. go ahead and drop these jar files to the libs directory copy this directory out to the root directory delete that alright so now back in Eclipse go ahead and right click the new project go down the properties Java build path add external jars and then select all those new jars click open click OK okay so now to test WebDriver you want to right click the SRC directory and select new package and then give the package a name click finish then right click on that package and select new class I'm just going to set that as test as well and then make sure public static void main is checkmarked click finish the following code should pop up in the editor window so now you want to go ahead and copy the following code here which you can find in the description portion of this video. Go ahead and copy, paste it back into the editor window in Eclipse. And then go ahead and run the Java project. Hitting Control F11. Click OK. So basically if it works, the Firefox window should pop up, which it did, and it'll navigate to google.com and it'll enter the search parameter of MySQL Excel 2013. And you can actually see another one of my videos on the very top there. And that's all there is to it. In the next video in the series, I'll show you how to actually start using JUnit to conduct unit testing in conjunction with WebDriver. Alright, thanks for watching.